Western Northern Ontario. My name is Dave, and this is Makiro Sunny, my N scale layout. Uh, the uh, refinery is in place, all glued down. A couple of screws in it to make sure it made good contact with the foam base. And uh, today we're going to work on installing just one of the light, the many lights that I want to put in here. But it's all rinse and repeat kind of stuff. To do one, you'll, you'll see how I do all of them. So. I'm going to switch over to uh, camera five here. Oops, yep. Yeah. And you can see what it looks like. So I found a couple more uh, tanks. I found this uh, Pike stuff uh, building, and I uh, I thought, oh geez, we, I should build I, instead of building one from scratch, I should just buy a kit. So I bought a kit. It's upstairs. We just got it in the mail today, and I'll build it this week coming, and then it'll, it'll go in place. And uh, nothing else, the only thing that's glued down is the actual refinery kit. Everything else is still loose because I'm going to play around with how it's going to look. So, what we're going to do today is install this light. This is the big tower light. And it's going to go right here where the, the inside of that turn is. I'm going to pull it a little bit further back just in case the truck runs into it. I've got some uh, 3D models of barric, uh, barricades, those uh, uh, concrete barricades that they put up for construction stuff, that I've got to print, and it's, it, it's going to go around here to stop trucks running into this, uh, this light. So what, how do I do this? You know, wait a minute, I'm going to talk about the, uh, I'm just going to check camera 5 and see how much of the background you can see. Well, you can see quite a bit of it. All right. Um, I needed to put the background in place before I did the, the, uh, the put the refinery in place because I didn't want to be reaching over with a six foot piece of paper and glue and everything else and so it's in place. I've already put in, um, just going to swing this a bit, and you can see that I put, uh, sorry about that guys, I put in some rock structure down here and that is bark and grout and uh, my homemade uh, sculpt mold and the sculpt mold is still drying and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put greenery across the top of all of that so that it uh, it looks a little, a little bit more blended in with the background. Now as I say I had to do that before I did anything else because once this is in place it's got two tall towers sitting over there and shoot Sure, shoot, and I will, I will bang into one of those and break it. So I decided, no, the, the, uh, the Scenic uh, King uh, backdrops have to go in place first. And that's where I get them from. And I highly recommend the Scenic King. Uh, great guys um, and uh, very fast service. Uh, and they have a really broad range of backdrops that you can have. I've ordered two more, which I think will finish off the layout, but I'm not sure. I may have to buy a third, uh, a, an extra one. Uh, for a short distance, and then I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with the, that part of it that's left over. But anyway, let's get back to the uh, the drilling holes and everything else. So now I'm going to try. Uh, uh, no, I'm going to leave it on five. I don't want this to be a long video. Uh, so uh, I'm a firm firm supporter of the Makita brand of tools. Uh, one because they're very good and two because my local home hardware sells sells the full range. So what I have here is a very long drill bit. Now this drill bit is intended, uh, has to go through uh, three inches of foam and a quarter inch of plywood, which is how my, my layout is built. So I'm just going to back this up here. and. You can see that the uh, if you look at the last one when I was actually putting the uh, 
the road down and, and uh, painting it with the asphalt paint, that it was very, very black. And uh, all of us know that the only time tarmac is, is, uh, is black is the day it's late. And then the second that there's a bunch of cars on it, it turns all kinds of gray. So I just took a little bit of, uh, of grout and uh, using a makeup brush, I just spread it on here so that the uh, it isn't as black as it should be. Now, I think I've already done a video where I've shown you this, but I'm going to show you these again. In order to get the wire all the way through my, my baseboard, I use this. And it is, if you can see it, it is for pulling stuff out of people's ears. It's a medical device. But, um, for me, it's perfect for running wires down through the baseboard. And I use it when I'm wiring the track. I use it when I'm wiring buildings up against the... Uh... So all I do is I take it and I'm, I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm not used to being over here like this with the... Take it and I just plunge it right through. And then I open up the jaws, and he says, there we are. That's all it takes. So now I'm going to get down, look underneath. Whoa, we just missed a cross member. <laughs> and I mean just by like a few sixteenths. So now I've got my, uh, my wires hanging down. And I'm going to feed this like that. Now, what I, ha what I uh, have to do with these lights is because the hole is so much bigger than the, uh, the drilled hole is so much bigger than the actual stem of the light, uh, that I, I usually mount uh, my lights on a little concrete pad that, the, uh, that hold it in place. So we're just going to grab some uh, some CA here, and very carefully. It's not jammed up, is it? It could be. Hold on, I brought. Oh. I'll just use one of these. I did bring my, my scalpel, but I'll just bring one of these. There, that works. So now, a little bit of glue around the base. And push the wires down inside. Now, I want this thing to be reasonably upright. kicker. A little bit of pressure. And that should be, that is, that's locked in place. So I have the two wires down here. You know what I forgot to bring over here? I forgot to bring my battery pack over here. Um, you give me a second, I'm going to go get it so we can show you those lit up. <coughs> These lights are from a company called uh, Fun Trying, I think is what they call themselves. Again, it's another Chinese factory. And so, uh, yeah, let's see. That goes in there like that. And now, this one goes in here like this. And it's off. And there we are. We have, we have some lights. Oh, that's not straight up and down there, is it?
There we go, that's better. It's better that way, and better that way. So that's going to, of course, uh, I've got the main lights on. I've got two sets of lights here. I've got uh, fluorescent bars that light it up as, as bright as daylight. And then I've got a set of LED lights that run around the top uh, above the, the uh, lamp. And that gives it sort of a dusk dawn kind of look. So I will do the same thing with all the other lights that I, I put in here. I'll drill a hole and pull the lights and pull the wires down for the lights for the refinery itself. And the, everything will go underneath. And I have these little circuit boards. I can't show you one uh, right now that I bought from a company called N Scenic in um, in England in, in, in England and uh, they're nice little bolt uh, uh, boards they allow you to, to attach 12 different uh, lights to it and then uh, there's a plug at the end where you can draw it, uh, put your power into it anyway so that's pretty much for this <laughs> it's not a big video um, like I say but we're we've got a, a building to build and put here I want to put the fencing along the front here and along the edge of the road. Um, I've, I've got to uh, level up the bridge that's going into the uh, into the paper mill, which is where my camera five is sitting right now in the paper mill. And uh, and then the next the next project is going to be a cement factory and it's going over there uh, and the track is already uh, track cork is laid and the, and the track itself is glued down and it's just ready for it to come so I've got uh, two buildings and, uh, and some accessory stuff for uh, for the the, uh, the concrete plant and I've already 3D printed uh, closed hoppers for uh, for the uh, rail rolling stock for it. Um, so, as I said, this is not a long, long video. I just wanted to make sure that everybody saw where we were at. I, I may call this quits in terms of uh, in terms of actually physically videotaping, working on the uh, on the refinery. I think what we'll do is. Uh, once it is all glued down and everything's in place, the buildings and everything else, then I'll just do a video on a quick tour of what it looks like, and uh, you can see it then. So, I'm just checking here. So, as I said, it's not a long video. You can see uh, from camera two, you can see there's a whole whack of mess here. This is all on top of a paper mill that's supposed to be built. And it was the first project I started and I never finished it because I was having trouble with the track and I was having trouble figuring out how I was going to make this work. Um, a lot of it is scratch built um, and, uh, and then uh, and kit bashed. And then there are domes and towers and stuff that come from the days when I smoked cigars and I, they make absolutely beautiful little uh, little uh, towers, dome uh, tank towers, and so there's all of that. There's uh, weathering to do. There's all sorts of stuff to do. Almost uh, almost over there. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you for watching today. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as always, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and remember that it's your railroad, and you can build it any way you want. And I want to fade the black. Okay.